Here's John Sargent giving his own electric performance. Ah, the wind in your face and the sun on your back. Cycling is great fun on the flat. The hills can be a problem, but not for me today. I'm not on a push bike, I'm on an e-bike. Officially, it's called an electrically assisted pedal cycle. There's a motor in the hub of the front wheel that gives this bike a bit of oomph. They're all the rage in many countries around the world. And it's now catching on in Britain. More than 20,000 of these will be sold this year. Paul Stanford runs one of the UK's largest e-bike distributors. It's like a bike, but it's not a bike, is it? Well, it rides like a bike, and as you pedal, so the electric motor kicks in. When you stop pedalling, the electric motor stops. But it's not like a motorbike, is not it? Not at all, no, no. This, this bike actually has to, has to stop assisting you at 15 miles an hour for it to comply with the legislation that makes it a bike. And you drop below 15 miles an hour, the motor will kick in to, uh, to assist you again. The e-bike revolution is being propelled mainly by the over 50s, and these enthusiasts are really sold on the idea. Right, hello, bikers. Right, e-bikers, that stands for excitement, does it? What's the advantage for you? I'm 77 and I've been able to continue cycling despite arthritic knees. Why do you like e-bikes? Um, well, I've got fibromyalgia. It's a bit like ME and you run out of energy very quickly. And if that happens when I'm out on a, a walk or anything, I can't get back. But on a pal bike, I can. We have been here before. Sir Clive Sinclair has launched his latest creation, an electric bicycle. This is the Zyk, an electrically powered bicycle which is far more advanced than it appears. But the Zyk flopped. People didn't seem to like its small wheels or its scooter-like appearance. Only 2,000 were sold after it launched in 1992. And now it's a collector's item. The new breed of e-bike has a bigger range, better batteries, and on some models, you can choose when to engage the motor by simply flicking a switch. To the casual observer, it looks like an ordinary bike. So, could they catch on this time and revolutionize urban transport? Cycling expert Carlton Reed is a fan. If you want to go out with a strong partner, you can actually keep up with them. Yeah. If you want to go to work and you don't want to get sweaty, well, you're going to hop on your electric bike. And if you want to go up hills, well, you're going to get up on the hills on an electric bike, obviously far better than uh, on a standard bike. Let's put that to the test. These lads and lasses are members of cycling clubs. They pound the pedals and knock off 60 or 80 miles without breaking a sweat. I'm not even a fair weather cyclist. They may have muscle power, but I've got a motor. Blimey. Here we go. And this is a tricky little slope. The Lycra lot are probably going easy on me, but sailing past them is still a bit of a thrill. Howdy dee. Howdy dee. You don't think it's cheating for me to be on it now? No, not at all. We were out the other day and we got overtaken by a guy on, a, on an e-bike going up a hill. We were all puffing and panting up the hill and he just sailed past going, morning! It was great. <laughs> you know, we weren't bothered by it. I think it's fantastic. I think if it gets people out cycling, there's a big cycling revolution going on and if people can get, can get involved with that, uh, I'm all for it. Even the traditional cyclists, the ones wearing all the special gear, they think it's good. But there is one catch. E-bikes are pricey. An average model sets you back about a thousand pounds, whereas the typical cyclist only spends around two hundred pounds for a standard bike. So you're talking <laughs> a fair bit of wedge above the average price. So that's that's a huge uh, barrier to the sales in this country. Despite that, I must say I'm impressed. The chance to ride in the fresh air without getting sweaty or out of breath just might make e-bikes a winner. My type of bike. Honestly, such a great feeling. Bit of a hell. When you're going up a hill and you go, how is this working? It's brilliant. <laughs> anyway, 